We have word that Russia has now ordered its military to be on full combat readiness alert. And this movement is being seen across the country as they're moving combat vehicles, missile systems, and many other things into position. This comes on the heels of all the tit-for-tat, the back and forth between the West and Russia. A lot of this starting here recently with the accusations against Russia over this whole nerve agent thing that went down, of which is still up in the air. Now we have things popping off in Syria. We have all the talk going back and forth there still with the most recent actions that have happened there being blamed on Israel coming from Russia and other groups that are saying that they just struck a base that was there. And this is back and forth constantly. Then they'll turn around and blame Russia or, or Turkey. And, and as we've seen this most recent time, they were talking about chemicals being used and then pointing the finger all over the place. Well, in this instance... There was an interview that was just conducted, and they're saying that it should be reminded that Ukraine's defense minister, Stefan Politrok, had said in an interview that Russia had concentrated 19 battalions of tactical groups in the region of more than 77,000 troops just in the Ukraine region. So, 77,000 troops along its border in the region there with Ukraine alone when you want to talk about numbers just in one spot. So from the far east to the north, of course, its whole western flank there from Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, all those countries have NATO stacked up in them. They have been for years. And now we see Russia making big moves here, sending troops down to this western region. Just wanted to update the situation here in terms of what Russia's doing, moving around troops, everything centered around Syria right now. Who knows which way things are going to go, but this is an update. I'm going to leave a link. I will continue to update as things change. It's been Dabu7. Peace.